Martha, what's your deal? Martha has been very antsy. She's ready to eat. She says, feed me, Daddy. Feed me, Daddy. And I say, no, I don't do what you tell, what you tell me to do. Right. Can you lay down? Good. Cinch, lay down. Good. So if your dogs are asking you to do something that you don't want to do, make them do something for you first. It's very important. Free. It's chow time. Free. Go to bed. All right. Oh. That's good dogs. So we will try our best to do a video about how to get your dogs to go to bed like that as soon as we can. I wanted to talk about one thing while I have you. Um, we were talking about feeding the other day in the video and um, we were talking about how, like why we should only be feeding potentially one or two times a day. Um, and dogs, just like humans, have a circadian rhythm and their organs work in a certain, um, they work according to what time of day it is. And um, just like ourselves, after about seven o'clock, the, um, I guess it's the pancreas, uh, kind of goes into a hibernation mode. And so eating after that period of time is really bad for them uh, because it messes with their blood sugar. It'll cause them to gain weight. So if you feed them once a day, that's good. Um, be because then chances are you're not going to be doing it after seven o'clock. So don't feed your dogs after seven o'clock. The other thing is, is we were going to talk about the difference between bowl feeding and free feeding and free feeding is actually really not great for your dogs because um, what it does is it, it allows the dog to come in and hijack their metabolism because if the, your metabolism only gets the opportunity to rise when you feed and then fast. Just the same as we, you know, and the reason the Americans are so unhealthy is because we eat six meals a day and we eat from six o'clock in the morning when we wake up till midnight, you know, or 10 or 11 o'clock at night whenever we go to sleep. And what it does is it doesn't give our body enough time to actually use the energy that it's putting in. And our body stays in this digestive mode where it's causing us to, to digest. Your body actually stays a lot clearer during the day whenever you uh, are not eating, whenever you're fasting, your body actually will have more focus, more physical focus and mental focus, because that's simulating preparing you for the hunt. And dogs definitely have that as well. So when you're dealing with energy issues, if your dogs are too rambunctious or something like that, then that might be a time to feed them, because it might calm down their, um, it might calm them down. So because they're, um, they, their body goes into digestion mode. And once your body goes into digestion mode, the body wants to rest because it wants to focus all of its energy on digesting the food. So if we go ahead and feed our dogs once a day, our dogs will be fitter, leaner, healthier overall. It'll help their body go into the stages where, um, where the body will digest all of the um, damaged cells you know, in a fasting state. And you can get into that fasting state every day if you can. That's what intermittent fasters do. Um, so, and it actually is preventative for disease, preventative for cancer, and things of that nature. So, if you want to keep your dogs healthy, do not free feed them. Free feeding is a great way to make sure that your dog has the greatest chance to get all sorts of different diseases and maladies that will keep them from being your pets for as long as they possibly can. So that is my opinion on that, and I'll go ahead and cut this short. This is Luke Smith with the Pack Smith Dog Training saying I love you.